Welcome to New Story in Skype on Ubuntu Hardy Heron. Right, what we're going to do first is download the package. So I'm going to go via Google to the Skype site and download it directly from Skype. Here's the Hardy's first page. Type in Skype up in the Google. And here we go. Download Skype. The page will quickly flash up for you. I want to download the one for Ubuntu, which is 7.04, but it will work on Hardy Heron as I've tried it before. I want to save that file. There she goes, downloading. Lovely and quick. It's only 14.8 megabytes. And we've saved. I'll close the box. Close the browser window. And I'm going to open the package. Double click. Eventually, this screen does come up. Let's go and check, make sure the file's okay. And there we go. We can install the package straight away if we want to. You can go to details, it tells you is it's from Skype Technologies, it's non-free and all the in included files which some might mean nothing to you whatsoever. So we've got to install the package straight away. You have to put your own password in of course. And she'll start installing. It doesn't take very long at all. And it's only a small file. I say that. But there we go. Oh, here we go. We're installing the package. This t could take up to a minute. It all depends on the system you're running it from, really. I'm actually using a virtual machine to do this on Hardy Heron. So that brings the machine I'm using down to about 1.5. And I'm only using 256 megs. So it's quite a low end machine, really. And eventually she does actually install. There we go, we can close it right down. I'll close that window now. Now if we go to applications, oh by the way I'll get rid of that first. I'll just put it into the deleted items app section. <coughs> I'll go to applications, internet, and there you'll see the Skype icon. We click on there and the Skype window will flash up. Eventually. There we go. So there's a Skype now using them just for these tutorials. It's Hardy Heron and or Harry Hardy one should I say. You pop in your password, make sure you get the right one. And there we go. Skype is open for you. You can add your contacts from here. They will even give you uh, one pound of free call or one euro, wherever you are, or one dollar even. You can make the Skype test call. Do that, just highlight it. Click on the green call button, which I haven't done, but I'm just giving you an example. But I'm going to close that down now. As you can see, it runs in the toolbar anyway, so it's always on. So if somebody gives you a call, it will just flash up on the screen, whoever's calling you. And that's Skype on Ubuntu.